Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's guilt. Mm -hmm. It has guilt. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's poisonous enough, but I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> okay, so look at me. I'll pass that. Be sure everyone knows that's one of the gills. And it's a dead ringer. Here's another thing that as I was gathering, it looked awful orange, but I know turkey tail fairy again. Back is really smooth. It doesn't have the little tiny pores. It's not white like the, the turkey tail. So you want that white flesh, the white back. Pass that ringer around. But as you can see, this was just in my backyard where I live that I found all these things that look like turkey tails but aren't. So be really oh. cautious if you go out collecting. One of the rules of uh, eating any mushroom, particularly if you're looking for medicinal purposes, if you have any doubt, throw it out. You don't want to take a chance. If, and particularly with the gilled mushrooms. With the gilled mushrooms, get yourself a good book. A really fun one is called All That the Rain Promises and More by David Aura. And what he will, they tell you is to get the entire stalk because there are little frills and rings, particularly on some of the really poisonous ones, that you can go back and look in your book and see if it's got it or not. <laughs> Again, if you have any doubt, throw it away. Mushrooms are very variable, as you've seen in our turkey tails, so collect several. Always remember to leave that mycorrhiza there so that it can come back and there's something for the forest and for the next mushroom hunter. <coughs> um, and with, oh, and then lastly, what's the reason that, what, what medicinal mushrooms do for you is they work on two levels. One is immediate. They are they're wonderful things. For the, they help you to fight off various infections, both fungal, bacterial, and viral. It depends on the mushroom, but they have all those properties. They lower blood cholesterol. They're anti-cancer. They do some incredible things for us. This is why people have been using mushrooms medicinally for centuries. <laughs> so, uh, Millennia, actually. Yes. Um, <laughs> I get a little, little nervous when I talk in front of a lot of people sometimes. Um, but then what's really interesting is over a period of time, if you have a mushroom tea daily or have it in your soup daily, it actually tones up your immune system, changes your immune system so you're better able to fight things off, better able to deal with cancer. And so that is a really unique thing that we don't see in a lot of uh, non-fungal herbs. And just, oh, thinking about identifying them, they're actually six times more fungi than there are plants. Six times more species of fungi than plants. And as we look around, we've been seeing lichens, we've been seeing all kinds of things here. So Mississippi's a great place to be <laughs> looking at these things. Um, and I do have the specific medicinal properties for the ones three we're looking at today. I know what you mean. Um, the turkey tails. <laughs> Their, lat their Latin name is Tremites versicolor. Are anti-cancer, anti-yeast, antibacterial, antioxidant. They enhance the immune system and also the functioning of the liver and kidney. And then when we get to the oyster and chitakis, I guess I'll talk about what they can do. Any questions?